Hey, what's going on, guys? So in this gameplay, we were going crazy with Attack 56. I'm telling you right now, this gun is a top two AR to run with in Ashika Island. So check out the gameplay, attachments, and breakdown at the end of the video. Let's go. Right behind big boy. Pushing big boy right now. Got you. Got him. Yep, got you, big. Oh. Yeah, small castle. Small castle. Small castle. At least one of them was. I broke him big time. <laughs> I got another one. Got one. Uh, in front of us. Down one. On me, on me. Pushing my way, right, pushing my right right now. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Wipe, wipe on that team that was pushing us. Yep. Now small castle, small castle. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Yeah, he's dead. Two guys. Someone, someone in my building too. Got him. Got him. Let's go, baby. Oh my goodness. Uh, that guy's still there. That's just. He's dead. More people on top. Uh, whoever's up here. Oh. Two down on me. It's a squad wipe. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Roof of love you. Roof of love you, okay? Heard him. Got one more here, or no? No, that's this for you, AV. Uh, on the. Kill the one on top of me. Oh, oh! They're on my right side, on my left side, right here. One landing on the roof as well. Teams left. I, I tapped him. It's another one on roof. Let's go. Woo. Last team, 4v2. Man. We're beaming. We're frying, chat. We're frying. Oh, no. Right behind me. On my side. On my side. I got him. I got him. Mine. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. GG's. Brian. Woo. Attack 56 and the Bass P. Pretty nice combo right there. GG's. All right, Royal Family, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said before, we were going off with this TAC 56 and the Bass P. Here's the link on the Bass P right here if you want to check it out. We just dropped that video recently and it got a recent buff.
So with these attachments, it's going to be the best one to put on the TAC-56. So let me show you about the, the tune-up for each one. So here's the hard bigger D20. Uh, what this tune-up is going to help with the recoil smoothness and the bullet velocity. As you can see, it's going to help with the range and the damage and help with the recoil as well. After that, you can put the Tundra Pro Barrel for the tune-up. You know, again, go ahead and put it at the 0.35 for the recoil steadiness. Bump it up at 0.27 inches for the damage range. It's going to help with the damage, the range, and the accuracy. After that, for the F-Tac Ripper, okay, for the underbarrel, you're going to put uh, 0.57 ounces for the recoil stabilization. So it's going to help with the accuracy and the recoil. And the same thing, 0.27 inches for the aim and idle stability. And it's going to all revolve around the recoil and the accuracy. After that, you can put the 60-round mag. It's the biggest mag on the gun. And then I'm going to use the best sight in the game. I like to put it at zero for the flex resistance and the aim down sight speed. And go ahead and max it out right now, all the way up to negative 1.65. And I feel like that's a sweet spot for me with this TAC-56. So there you go, guys. That is the TAC-56 that we use in this gameplay. Probably one of the top ARs to use right now in Warzone 2.0. So if any of this helped you out at all, or if you enjoyed the gameplay and want more Warzone content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and share this build to a fellow teammate so you guys can dominate Warzone. I'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.